We've just been talking about how to adjust the cutting width, like how far the knife is cutting away from the needles. And that depends on how thick your fabric is. But what I wanna get into next is the Bernina micro thread control, which is right here. So when you're trying to fine tune the perfect look on the edge of your fabric, this is a way that Bernina has given us to really get in and perfect this. Now, I will tell you, sometimes it's almost easier to see what the change is by actually doing it. So right now it's just at zero. And what it's actually moving is there's this little finger, almost looks like a little fin kind of going back and forth, way down here where the stitch formation is made. So as that little finger is further to the right, it will expand or kind of help pull the stitches a little further out to the edge. If it's more in, you might get a smaller looking seam. And if you go too far or not enough, sometimes you'll get stitches that are not allowing the edge of the fabric to lie flat. So how are you going to learn this? I think the best way to do it is after you've moved your knife, so moving this in or out to match your fabric, then you fine tune that little finger to the location that looks the best on your fabric. Give yourself one or two extra passes to find where it looks the best. And again, we're looking for a super flat finish like I see here and that the overlocked or looper threads meet right along the edge. So that's your goal as you change from different fabrics. And then just a really quick tip, make sure you leave your cutting knife up and engaged because it helps you actually guide your fabric at the right place. By putting that down, sometimes your fabric might wander past and get involved with the upper looper, which is actually not fun at all. So that's my tip for today. Always leave your knife engaged, but then fine tune it based on on what you are sewing on to find the perfect setting.